I understand that you were on a plane uh, leaving for business when the volcano was smoking and you landed and uh, saw the devastation of your country through the media. It must have been a devastating uh, experience for you. How bad do you know is the situation? Uh, th thank you for your time. Uh, the situation is bad in the outer islands. Um, they, these islands are low-lying and very close to the volcano. Um, the Tongan Navy has evacuated the residents of the islands of Mango, Fonoi, and Atata. And um, th these people had nowhere else to go. The 15-meter waves you've heard uh, went from one side of the island right through to the other side. How much uh, communication are you able to have with your capital? So communications were recently restored with 2G service, um, but that means just uh, voice and text messaging um, using Digicel um, network provider. So uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to um, communicate with my wife um, this morning and yesterday a few times, but right now it's still not ideal. Um, emails are intermittent and communications are still not fully back online, but we have limited means of communicating with our loved ones. Mm -hmm. um, when I spoke to my wife about um, what happened, um, she says that the shock wave vibrated the entire building. It was a different feeling to what an earthquake feels like. Um, the shock wave goes right through your body. And um, fortunately for us, uh, only the window in our kitchen um, smashed mm -hmm. as a result of the shockwave from the volcanic eruption. But a lot of people have um, lost their homes, unfortunately, especially those on the low-lying islands where there is almost nothing left. How about the emotional impact of this shock? The, the emotional impact is, um, you know, ob obviously everyone is um, deeply saddened by the loss of um, three confirmed um, deaths. Um, but uh, the Ministry of Health today um, made a statement saying they're very surprised with the low level of casualties compared to the level of the tsunami. Um, so in a way, we're, we're, we got away. Um, but the, the damage to property and the long-term effects of the ash and the tsunami um, will, will be felt for, for months and probably years to come. Mm. So right now, I understand you are uh, running for, you're calling for help. You are again, asking for donations uh, in neighboring countries. What specifically are you asking? How big is uh, the need and uh, what has been the responses so far? So the, the response from the international com community has been swift and we are expecting more to come into the country. Um, even um, unofficially, um, not between governments, uh, people have rallied support, um, offered donations. And um, here in New Zealand, we've collected water and non-perishable goods to be shipped in the next ship to Tonga. Um, so uh, we, we need water, we need food. Um, right now in Tonga, they're trying to clean up um, so hopefully, uh, according to the government, schools will be able to go back um, soon, um, provided um, on the 31st of January, uh, schools are for the children to go back. Um, are you getting the kind of help fast enough? And is the transportation either by plane or by shipping uh, on between where you are or between the outside world and Tonga? So because of the limited comms, I, I, I can't answer your question directly. Um, mm -hmm. Those on, on the ground will be able to give you a, a clearer picture. But from what I see here, um, the international community is mobilizing and uh, we're very thankful for that. Um, we can't get the help any sooner. Um, unfortunately, due to the COVID restrictions, um, all international assistance and humanitarian aid is dropped off contactlessly. So there's no contact between the crews of the airlift air, um, flights and the ships arriving and those crew who are picking up the necessary humanitarian aid. So you expect the rescue and relief period will stretch to how long, Lord? I, I really can't tell you how long I expect it to, to last, um, but I personally believe that there will be a long road to recovery after this event.